Howdy everyone, it is I, Magic Luxor. Today's video topic, we are going to be discussing memes. Memetics, as it's actually called. A uh, meme would just be a meme for the word memetics. <laughs> and what is a meme? A meme is the smallest unit of information or energy it takes to convey an idea. For instance, if you see the troll face, what does it tell you? It's that there is some guy trying to be punny or be a Discordian fuck <laughs> or something like that. Uh, but memes, you know Terrence McKenna, as I always preach about the man, the myth, and the legend, he was talking about memes back in the 80s and 90s. Um, he's what, the one who made me give memes a more of a professional view, because I, for one, always um, turn my head to the modern culture, um, maybe for a little bit of a hipster complex, and me are just um, rejecting my surroundings or something like that. Today, we not only live like kings and have the luxury and excess of living the life of a philosopher, of having the ability to send messages across the world like that, the ability to get on a plane, the ability to have food delivered to your dorm. We now all live a very luxurious life. And, um, yes, let's get to memes. We have the power of the printing press in our hands, and that is the recorder of man's deeds, as John F. Kennedy said. Here's a book called Occult Memetics. This is by... Carl Warwick or Marwick and here it gives a little um, summary of the book in the back uh, this is something I've had for a while it says occult memetics is more than a description of the concept of information transfer it is a brief hand guide to constructing and using propaganda in spiritual forms and to manipulating reality those who understand the concepts within this work should they choose to apply them could potentially change the views of others without even a single spoken utterance. It dwells, um, delves well beyond merely propaganda itself into the nature, um, beyond merely propaganda itself into the nature of reality and its core form. Yes, that is a really cool idea. And if you're familiar with the Southern, Southern liberal arts, you know of rhetoric and you know of speechcraft. And things like that and how because if you're speaking the truth you shouldn't need rhetoric you shouldn't need literary devices and things like that because the truth should be self-evident and stand alone but if you have a truth and you have literary communing um what's the word they use here uh, methods of information transfer you, the times what you have truth wise it makes your voice and your influence tenfold but here inside the book it goes into the modes of information conveying throughout the ages and if you're familiar with the mark with the work of uh, Marshall McLuhan you know of the, um, the print age and then the things of that nature so I'm just gonna go into these um, here are the different epochs of communication as follows. First, written language. Uh, 3000 BC, around the time of Sumer, which would be like 5,000 years ago. Back when the pole star was Draconis, Alpha Draco. Man, which before spread ideas only through his own actions in a sense or spoken or gestural communication is now able to lay down his thoughts in semi-permanent form such, as, such that ideas can outlast his lifespan without an oral tradition or further mutation. Kind of like this um, video. This video is a bit permanent. Um, literary education. Um, that didn't happen, they say, and according to the narrative, to 8, 000, or no, 859 AD. That sounds like quite a gap. Um, a population that is illiterate cannot make use of written language man had to mass educate the potentially literate populace um which was usually for the upper and middle classes 
uh, in order to maximize the use of it. Third, you get to the 1440s, the print age, the printing press, the recorder of man's deeds. The ability to produce an order of magnitude more copies of any idea or concept literary form in a shorter span of time than replicating books by hand, coupled by the protection of the original intent because the Mechanical rep replication of the material was more accurate than any human had at uh, hand pres preserving its content. Yes, so this is when the printing press was invented. The fourth, the early industrial era. So it's the 1830s, so I don't really need to go into that. Um, which just furthered the mass production of books and scriptures. Um, which is a blessing and a curse, of course. It can work in both ways, as far as the benevolence or malevolence of um, the mass uh, education. Fifth, radio. Now we're at 1894. The rise of the first significant electronic system available to broadcast information without a completely wired system. And then you go on to television, 1928. Now it's not only sound, but also image that is able to broadcast. Seventh, the internet, 1991. With the launch of the first public website, the internet became an eventual respiratory for, repository for virtually all human thought, spanning from far antiquity into whatever modern period is regarded. And then eighth, we're at modern social media, which I definitely don't need to go into. We're all familiar with this. But now every single person is... Can, has the power of all of these you can speak your languages with people we could teach on your platform you can record your thoughts your ideas you can create a radio you can create a podcast you can do videos like i do you can write books and it's not three people controlling it all at once but the whole idea behind memes and ideas and conveying ideology is to convey it in the most quick elegant and uh, almost Taoistic sense because there's not a lot of energy expended, and it's uh, it's like that. It's instantaneous almost, and um, yeah, I guess it would be an increased bandwidth of um, transfer or small any shortening of that. <clears throat> I really I'm no computer terms, <laughs> but um, yes, and if you're familiar with um, Greek mythology, let's say, Hermes, um, that's where you get words like hermetic, is my belief is that memetics are hermetic. They are the fastest mode of conveying information. Hermes is known as um, the messenger, and he's quick, he has the fastest orbit of 88 days. And it, I think it's the perfect archetype for the the shit posters and the people the the meme makers the the memetic the meme magic makers um yes because memetics are hermetic <laughs> and yes that is that is my rap for today